The AI and video search company Newsbridge unveiled its new identity, Moments Lab. The rebrand includes a new logo, visual identity, and company name that better encompasses its vision and mission, harnessing the power of multimodal and generative AI to eliminate sourcing roadblocks for content teams worldwide, empowering them to preserve and find the key moments in media libraries to create impactful stories, at scale. The rebrand follows Moments Lab's multi-million dollar investment in deep tech R&D and the successful launch of its patented AI indexing models, MXT1. Moments Lab will showcase new features for MXT 1.5 at the 2024 NAB show in Las Vegas. TSL informed that Ed Holland has joined its team as VP of Sales and Business Development, Americas. Holland will lead business development and sales for the whole range of TSL's control, audio monitoring, and power solutions throughout the Americas. Ed brings over two decades of media technology expertise through a long tenure as VP Channel Sales Americas at Vizardi, NewTek, and Crystal Vision. Multidyne Video and Fiber Optics Systems will introduce a new series of open gear solutions at the 2024 NAB show that will help customers build stronger bridges between the SDI and IP worlds. The new MDOG series offers SMPT ST2110 network interface and low-latency JPEG XS codec modules to efficiently manage uncompressed and compressed signals as they move between legacy systems and IP networks, with full redundancy to optimize performance. Multidyne's MDOG 6060 modules represent the company's first IP gateway solutions for uncompressed ST2110 networks. Multidyne will debut the series at booth C7107. At the NAB show, Tyline will unveil its Bridge IT2 and Bridge IT Extra 2 IP audio codecs. These latest additions deliver high-quality transport for applications such as home studios and simple remote broadcasts, STLs, studio-to-studio -studio links, and multi-unicasting and multicasting. They offer native support for AES67, ST211030, ST202027, Livewire, Ravenna and AMWA NMOS IS04 and IS05. The codecs provide two full duplex mono connections, or full duplex stereo. Features include multiple Ethernet and AOIP ports, failover to another connection, HTTP stream, or audio file playback, and support for wireless cellular modems. The Toolbox HTML5 Web GUI and optional cloud codec controller software provide real-time monitoring and remote management of connections. A team announced that its Titan encoders now enable new ways of consuming video assets on the Apple Vision Pro. Leveraging a team's Gen 7 compression engine to support spatial computing through the MVHEVC standard, Titan encoders can now deliver stereoscopic 3D content for spatial computing. By embracing the MVHEVC standard and leveraging a team's expertise in multi-layer HEVC formats for video compression, a team ensures seamless compatibility and exceptional quality for 3D video on the Apple Vision Pro platform. At the NAB Show 2024 Marshall Electronics will introduce its VMV4023 GSH, a 4-input, auto-scaling, seamless switch that is designed to become a reliable part of any infrastructure. The Marshall VMV4023 GSH can be used in remote news vehicles, edit rooms, AV boardrooms, lecture halls and even as an input expander for existing production switches. Simple command structure allows easy integration with Crestron and other control surfaces and automation systems via Ethernet or RS-232. The switcher accepts four 3G SDI sources. Inputs 1 and 2 also accept HDMI. Celebrating 70 years in the industry, Miller Tripods will unveil its new solo Q pod monopod at NAB 2024, booth C6925. The professional solo Q pod is designed to be robust and long lasting. It employs the same technology and materials used in Miller's popular solo Q tripod but in a monopod configuration. The solo Q pod weighs just 1 kilogram and features a height range between 59 and 173 centimeters, having a payload of up to 10 kilograms. The camera can be mounted directly onto the monopod or via a Miller Air V head. Dear colleagues and friends, we want to review our experience at ISE 2024 and summarize our activity there to provide you with comprehensive data. Over the course of five days, including one day before the show and the four days of its duration, we captured, edited, and published 10 newscasts, totaling approximately 47 minutes in duration. 
These newscasts included 17 interviews with representatives from various companies, along with general information about the show itself and its accompanying events. Additionally, we produced two more newscasts afterwards. All our efforts garnered over 8,000 views in total on the LinkedIn platform. These figures demonstrate our effectiveness in increasing your visibility to your target audience. Our next stop is the NAB 2024 show. But before the show, we offer you the opportunity to make the show-related announcements within our daily briefly newscasts. Contact us now and be among the first to be visited at NAB 2024.